who now our uh, grid squares are done collecting and the next thing to do is set up our image shift uh, template or multi-shot parameters so what we'll do is select uh, four corners of a three by three array of holes and to do that we'll go to add points and then we'll pick any three so we'll go uh, one two three four okay and we will go to our very first point we'll say go to xy which will move the stage to that corner and while that's happening we will go to navigator uh, montaging and grids and then set multi-shot parameters and we will say four corners of a regular pattern and it will pick out uh, the correct spacing and everything for these uh, this multi-shot parameter so we'll go uh, now and take a view image and what we should see is point 32 which we've moved our stage to okay and there it is and notice that we are just above the very center of the hole and it's important to note that because when we come back to it later we want to move every hole by that amount so we're going to move our red cross to the very center we'll say four corners of a regular pattern save image shift okay so next it says shift by two holes in first direction it's giving you instructions in this little window uh, and we already have our first two holes saved so we're going to go to 33 image shift to xy and then view okay and then look at that we're off set by the same exact amount as in 32 so we're going to move back down to the very center save image shift and then go to 34 and we're going to repeat that until we're completely finished with the entire square okay again offset by roughly the same amount move to the center save image shift and then move to the last oh, image shift to XY and then we will view so now what you've done is image shift to the corners of each uh, of a 3x3 three three array of holes you've given uh, serial EM information on the number of holes and the spacing between each holes each hole in the pattern and we're going to save image shift press OK and then while we're here I usually think it is efficient to define the focus area of your hole and collect an image that will be your reference later on when you're collecting data so you want to pick the very center of the hole view and now what we want to do is crop this image so that only one hole is present uh, oh actually before that we want to set our focus area so I'm just going to pick a spacing in between each one of these holes by clicking uh, and then uh, in the define position of area I, I've just selected focus and uh, clicked the area I want to focus on and now I'm going to say none okay now the next thing I knew, need to do is crop this image so I'm going to go to setup and then uh, I'm going to say 
half and a bit less and that should be just enough to get each one of these holes out of the main image of our hole okay now I've cropped that and I want to view once more and verify that only one hole is present and it is still centered and there you have it so now I want to save this image as a P in my folder so I'm going to close out my previous buffer P go to file uh, save A which is the active uh, buffer save A and I'm just going to save that as P right here okay and that is how you uh, set up a focus area uh, image shift template and also save a reference image uh, in Serial EM.